Hello everyone, welcome back to Bennett Films, and today I'm doing my 100 subscribers special, where I'm going to be telling you my top 15, or actually maybe even 20, favorite LEGO minifigures. These could be any types of minifigures, collectible or in sets, and I just wanted to show you my top 20 favorites. I know in a few videos before I said I was going to show you my top 15, but since there are so many, I just decided to do 20. Also, these could be any types of minifigures, sets, collectible, or anything. And also all music tracks, which the only one that I'm using is most likely Cantina from Star Wars. So that's going to be the music I'll be using for this video. And it's just made by Star Wars. So let's get into it. The new Harley Quinn from the Lego Batman movie. This is from the collectible minifigure series. And this one is really good because I just like the hair. Also, this is her nurse outfit and it comes with a little printed stylist. It's kind of hard for you to see because of where I'm recording, but it says H plus J, which is Harley plus Joker. And I just really like this minifigure because it's a cheap, easy way to get Harley Quinn. You can see that I moved my, or not, not 18, 19. Up at number 19, you can see that I moved my well, camera to the place where I'll be recording the rest because it has more lighting there. Number 18 is Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. I just really like him because, like, they captured a pretty good character into Lego pretty well. The hairpiece, I don't know if it's new or not, but I never saw it before. And the printing's okay, but I just really like this character because I remember I would watch, like, the Cartoon Network show a lot. And yeah, that's just number 19. And number 18 is Darth Maul from the 1999 Sith Infiltrator set. And he looks really nice. I just really like him. And, like, he, they, that's before they made little horns on his head. And they just gave him a little robe hood piece. But I just really like this minifigure. The printing isn't even that great. Well, on the face it is. It's just, I, I, I guess I just like the character from the actual movie, I guess. Number 17 is Ursula. And I don't even like Little Mermaid. It's just, this is a pretty good minifigure to have. Especially this new piece for the legs. But I don't even really like the character. It's just, I think they did a good job of capturing it into a Lego minifigure. So that's pretty much the only reason why I like it. On to number 16. Next up from the list is, for number 16, is Bart. Um, I just like the fact that, like, I, I really like these new molds, especially for the superhero Bart. From Simpsons series 2. But this one is just the, like, the Lego Dimensions version. And maybe the version from the Simpsons house. Or Queaky Mart or something. I really don't know. It's just like. I like the slingshot. And yeah. I just I just like this minifigure. Because like the legs especially. Because like it, it looks like that he's wearing socks. And also the mold is nice. So on to number 15. Number 15 is the Lego Star Wars Endor Luke that appeared in, like, I think it was, like, a 2000 set or, like, a 1999 set, either one. But I just really like this minifigure. It's somewhat rare and hard to find. Also, I like the fact that back then they used chrome lightsaber hilts, so they look more like the movie. Nowadays, the only character who gets chrome hilts is Count Dooku. So that's good that I have another one. Also, pretty much all the faces for Luke back then was the same. His hair is really simple. But the torso, you, you, as soon as you look at the torso, I thought, wow, that is Endor Luke. And I just really like Endor, and 
I guess I like Endor Luke. He's pretty easy to get, especially if you have the set speeder bikes. So now on to number 14. Number 14 is Jay from Ninjago. I always liked blue ninjas from Lego. Or actually liked all the ninjas. It's just blue is one of my favorite colors, especially this form of blue. It's kind of dark blue. I just really like this character. He's good in the show. And in the show, Jay has electricity powers. And I like the printing especially. Like, look at his torso print. It looks really, really good. And not really any printing on the mask, however. But I think this guy appeared in, like, a book or something. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he appeared in, an, in a Ninjago book. But I'm really not sure. So on to number 13, I think. Or, yeah. Next up is Red from the Angry Birds movie line. I only have one Angry Birds movie set, but I might get Piggy Plane Attack soon. This is the one that appeared in the Egg Heist, I think. Or Beach Egg Heist, or whatever it's called. And this one isn't exactly a minifigure, but it's still really cool. I like it. I really like it, and it's from one of my one of my favorite videos that I made up to this day because it was so funny. And since we're on red, I might as well just do my famous thing. That's not really all that famous, but. <laughs> Next up is Nia from Ninjago, and I just really like these Ninjago figures because their printing is really, really great. Like, it's really good. I'm surprised of how good they did with Nia, with like the little belt, the blue belt, and just even printing on the legs, which I normally don't care about printing, but this one just is really, really great, so that's why I chose it. Next up is the panda from the Lego Movie blind bag series, and I always liked this one. I always liked the guys dressed up as someone, and this one came with a little bear. Th this bear isn't very common, especially the panda, but the same mold was made for the Lego Sleepyhead minifigure, which was the first thing Lego I ever got. And I just really like this Lego minifigure because this was... One of my only Lego movie blind bag figures that I got. I also got Emmett. But I got very few of these. And I just really like this one. Speaking of Emmett, here he is at the, at the next one. Emmett is really, really awesome. And the printing, again, is... Okay, this part is shiny. Like, it's like a silver... But the main thing I like about Emmett's are he normally almost always has a double-sided face, so you could pose him in different ways. And this one came out in a Cloud Cuckoo attack set, but it might have come out in a few more. And I only have a few Lego movie sets. I have Cloud Cuckoo attack, the one poly bag of, of Cowboy Emmett, and I, I think I have like one more. Oh yeah, the Double Decker Couch. So I don't have many Lego movie sets because, like, right whenever I was starting to get into, like, right whenever I was starting to be a huge major Lego fan, like, the Lego movie, like, the Lego movie made me a huge Lego fan, so that's just why I like Emmett. Next up, also from the Lego movie, is Unikitty. I just really like the figures that have, like, they're made out of bricks. And this one came out in the Cloud Cuckoo Palace, and I think it also came out in the Lego Dimensions fun pack of Unikitty. Although the eyes may be a bit different, but the first originally original Unikitty I got was the, I think it was the Double Dicker Couch Unikitty. And then eventually I got the, the one Cloud Cuckoo and Palace Attack. And it also came with Unikitty. I just, for some reason, like this one because it's made of bricks. 
and it doesn't come in very many sets, and I'm just glad to have this one, I guess. So on to the next one. Next up is Kai, and I just really like Kai as a character from Ninjago. Also, his printing is really, really great. I just really love it of how, like, there's a dragon lion thingy, and then it's, like, red and black, which reminds me of, oh, like, one of my favorites that I showed you a little bit ago, Darth Maul. And, yeah, I just really like this one. And Kai is probably one of my favorite ninja. And I just really like the red and black colors. That's what makes me like it, I guess. Next up is Benny, because he reminds me of all the classical space sets, which I only have. In fact, I don't think I have any classical space sets. It's just this guy came out in a few sets, including his own, like I mentioned, Spun Pack, which. He looks really good. I really like this new mold on purpose for this cracked helmet. It looks funny. Because, like, most people, like, since they, since the space theme is kind of old, like, sometimes helmets crack and stuff, and I just think it, it was a good idea to do this. And I would really like it if I got more many, more bennies from the Lego Movie 2 rumored to come out soon, and yeah, I just really like Benny. Next up is Aladdin from the Lego Disney minifigure series. I just really like Aladdin. The movie's really good, and then I think that the Lego minifigure version is absolutely wonderful. It is just really awesome, and I'm glad they finally did it, and... I really like, the printing is good, it's like Aladdin, but what really makes me excited is the hair piece, with like, the hair and then that's all ruffled because he's a, he's like, lives on the streets, and he has this little red cap, so that's just, I really, really like him. Next up is Steve from Minecraft, because I'm really glad that Lego and Minecraft like, are together and, like, making sets and stuff. Now, this Steve is from the Jungle Treehouse set. Probably one of my favorite LEGO Minecraft sets. But, really, all Steves are really, really good. Without the armor or anything, this is just the basic Steve. Like, it's really simple, but it's really good, and a lot of people love it. So, that's why it's one of my favorites. Next up is Mickey Mouse, and I just, I am so glad that they made a normal Mickey Mouse Lego minifigure. I know in like 2000 or something, they made a different form of Mickey, but it wasn't like a minifigure, like, like a normal minifigure, it was like some Duplo kind of thing. But I'm so glad that they finally made a normal Mickey, with like a new molded head, and like the pants, and yeah, I just really love it, and this is... Pretty much the reason why the, the Lego Collectible Minifigure series of the Disney series is my favorite series. So, next up, on, on to number three. Next up is Ian Solo, Young Han Solo. And he's in Ryan and Friends, one of my most, like, one of my most made video series. And... The printing is the same as Han Solo for, like, 2013 up to, like, 2015. Maybe even up to this date, which is 2017. But I just, like, he was one of my first short-legged minifigures I ever got. He came with the the Padawan Menace Lego movie thing. It's kind of like, not exactly a movie, but not exactly a video. It's, like, more of a, it's more of, like, a special on Cartoon Network, I think it appeared on. And I just really like this minifigure. It, it was one of the first minifigures I got, like, a few years ago. And I just really love this, because I know it's, like, it pretty much only comes in that set. It's not even a set, it's more of a DVD plus Blu-ray thing. So that's why I like it. 
And number two is Boba Fett. And I really like this one for a huge reason. Just look at the printing. That is 100% awesome. And I cannot believe that I got them in only like a $20 set. They even have printings on the legs and on the toes. I don't know if you can see it very well. But he has printing like all over him. And on the back, his jetpack kind of blocks it. And that's unfortunate. But if you take the jetpack off, just look at that. Isn't that incredible? I'm just so surprised of how good they could do with Lego minifigure. And Boba Fett was always one of my favorites from Star Wars. I especially liked him in episode 2, because, like, he was really young and he looks really different. And in episode 5, I don't, they, like, rarely called him Boba Fett. I don't even know if that was his name back then. So, next up is... And number 1 is Ryan. That's not even his real name. He came in, like, a creator set. It was, like, the toy market creator set or whatever it was called. And I don't know why I like him so much. The shirt is really good, and I don't know why I like him, but I just do. He's my channel mascot, and he appears in my series Ryan and Friends, and he also appears in, like, LEGO Wrestling, and he'll appear in my Hello Neighbor coming out. Also, if you haven't noticed, in most of my mo more recent videos, I put him in one frame... And Ryan's just, like, the main mascot of my channel. For a while, it was just, like, a whole bunch of Ryan and Friends characters. Like, it was, like, Ryan and Ian, or, like, Ryan and Jimmy. Jimmy! But, Ryan is just my favorite. He's a good minifigure. He's... I don't even know why I like him so much. It's just, I do. And he appeared in one set, but if you want to make him... You don't have the set. He's in very simple parts. This, the face is very common. This hat is somewhat common, and the legs are very common. The printing for the torso is kind of common, I guess. But the next Ryan and Friends episode I made, I make, is one where Ryan gets a new look, where he his hat changes color and and his torso changes, but it won't be like that forever. It'll only be, like, for the next few episodes, because you'll see why in the in the next episode. So, yeah, I just wanted to thank you all for watching this video. And, again, music is by Star Wars Most Likely Cantina. And, yeah, thanks for all your support, and thanks for 100 subscribers. And, hopefully, by next year, I'll get 200 subscribers at this rate. So thank you for watching. Bye.